This is Spike Slauson from You Cunt, and you're watching Raw Cunt Media. Come on, the Snoop Dumb grandfather and me, around Nassau town we did roll, drinking all night. Spice, that's Spice. Spice, is, that's actually Spice Awesome. No, no, that's right. right from Black, right? Yeah. That's his nickname for you, right? Yeah, I think Because so. I, I heard that podcast on Radio Like You Want. Spice Awesome. I love that. Yeah. So should we, should we say Spice Awesome or sure. Spice, Spice Lawson? Spice Awesome is okay, good. Okay, cool. You say both. So Spice Awesome, welcome to the Montebello Rock Fest 2014. How you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm doing all right. Can't complain. So you just started this new project called You Hunt. What can you tell us about this? Uh, I kind of started the project around the name. The name came to me, you know, from like Mike Hunt. You know what I mean? Right. Like as long as we're in town, let's look like Mike Hunt while we're in town. <laughs> and, uh, and so I just decided I wanted to build a band around the name and uh, learn the ukulele. Right on. And are these cover songs, originals? Uh, cover songs, all cover songs. And you're playing with uh, Little Joe's on there? Yeah. Who's, who's playing on this album? Little Joe is on there, my friend Randy Berg. Uh, we all went out to Fisherman's Wharf in, uh, in uh, San Francisco to play for tourists okay. and derelicts. And uh, yeah. If we got the derelicts agitated, we knew we had a hit on our hands, so we went and a uh, friend, Jamin Barton, he plays everything. He plays like stylophone, saxophone, uh, melodica, and, and yeah. So, any plans to tour with you, Cunt? Sure. You know, if, if, the, if, if the circumstances are right. Okay. Yeah. What do you remember about first coming to Quebec, the first couple times that you came and toured here with whatever band you were playing in? Wow. Yeah, see, that's weird. I mean, it's like uh, a reimagining of North America, right? Like like a different take on it. I dig it, you know? Right? Like, like, I think French North America, you know, like parts of Louisiana, Quebec. Jesus Christ, man, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I always kind of dug it. Like, it's, it's familiar, but, but strange at the same time. So, new Gimme's album. Uh, we, are, we are not men, we are diva. So, I'm kind of curious, who came up with the concept? Whose idea was it to do the diva theme? Mike's. Mike's, Mike's, Mike's. I mean, you know, we, we, we had to all kind of uh, put our two cents in, but, but ultimately it was Mike's idea, and it was, uh, I think it was a fair one. The song Sloop John B. They write themselves. Right. <laughs> um, the songs that you guys, the song you guys covered was uh, Sloop John B. was in Wolf of Wall Street. It was, uh, yeah. How did that come about? That, I mean, that's a pretty big movie. Uh, our friend Brian Archer, that he he made it happen. I don't know how he did it, but he's he's a magic man, and uh, and yeah, my wife is Italian American, so my in-laws like everybody. It's it's a lot of brownie points for me to be in a Scorsese movie, and not a bad one actually. One of the best uh, in, in, the, in the past few that he's made, I think. I liked it. So I think that scene, like Leonardo DiCaprio is like doing cocaine and having sex with hookers to that song, and you're singing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it was uh, definitely a bizarre moment for me. Raw cut media. Well, it feels so broke up. I want to go up. First mate, he got drunk. Broken 